Hey guys, welcome back. Happy New Year. This is my first video of the year and it is going to be my BoxyCharm unboxing. Yay, for January 2019. So I'm a little disappointed with this box, I have to say. It's not things that I really am excited about, so, um, you know, but it's still a great deal for $21. Um, this box uh, comes, let's see, I'm going to open it up here. So it comes with five items. And I actually teethed last night, so I already know what's in here. And I used one of these little guys, these little face masks. So I don't know if you can see, but it's one of those face masks that has like serum and stuff already in it. So I used one of those last night. I'll insert a picture right here so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. And yes, that is the mask. So getting in here, I'm going to open this up. This says, a boxy and chill is the theme of this month. It's a cute little like Care Bear type feel. And getting right in here. So first thing I'm gonna pull out is the Brigio Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray, which this is cool. I mean, I do like this, but I just got something like this about two months ago. So I don't know if they keep track of the things they have already sent you, but I basically, I haven't even used like this much of the one that I have. So now I have a whole new bottle. So not too excited about that, but it's still something I'll, I'll probably use. Um, next, let's see here. This I am happy about. So it's a good color. I like the way it matches my eyebrows. So if you see, right now I don't have anything on my eyebrows, so it'll be a good little test. And it just, it kind of like matches. It says it's like a, a very universal color that matches a lot of eyebrows. So I'm happy with this one. I feel like this is like one of the only items in the box that I like. But, yes, and it is... The Billion Dollar Brows Universal Brow Pencil, and it, I don't even think it has a color on here. It's like a taupe. Yeah, it doesn't have a color. So just filling them in, you can see that it's it's a nice shade, and you can build it up and make it darker. I do like it. So. That's, that's a win. I do like the eyebrow pencil. And let's see here, getting in next. So this is the Tatcha mask and it's a luminous dewy skin mask. It says here, for centuries, Japanese women would brew botanicals into enriched elixirs captured with leftover kimono silk to create a mask. This practice inspired this silky soft skin fitting sheet mask that delivers a healthy drink of ultra hydrating botanical oils and extracts for a dewy glow in just one use. So I used it last night. I mean, I felt like my skin was moisturized and hydrated, but um, you know, not much different than normal um, or any other mask that I would use. It's not like super special. And I think that these for two of them are $24 in a two pack. So, you know, not too bad. All right, so going into the next item here, looks like we have the long lasting, long lasting liquid lipstick by Ofra in Miami Fever, and I think this is a collaboration with Kathleen Lights. I think I saw something about this. The Miami Fever was the color that I did want. So um, this is another one. Ah! Yep, yeah, there we go. So this is another one that I was thinking if I'm going to get a liquid lipstick, this would be the color that I would want out of some of the options that I saw. So I'm going to try this on for you guys and tell you what I think. Okay, so as far as the wand, I like that applicator. It's a very, you know, stock basic applicator. So putting on the, the Miami Fever. Okay, so that is the Miami Fever by Ofra. I mean, it's a okay color. It's nice. It's, I don't feel like it's the best color for me. It could just be because I don't really have any makeup on right now, and maybe with some eye makeup and everything, it'll look really nice, but, you know, I just 
got home from the gym, so <laughs> I don't know if uh, like this kind of color would look good with nothing else on. But, you know, it's okay. I like the um, brickness of it, so it's not too bright. It's not too orangey. Um, this is typically a color that I would wear. So I'll have to see once I have like full makeup on if I like how it looks. But, you know, not too excited about it. So liquid lipsticks are, you know, really drying. I think that this one has a nice formula. It's very smooth and I feel like it dries, um, not cakey. So I'll see how it wears for a couple hours. But um, I think that it's going to be a good one. And okay, so getting into the last item here. So the last item I have is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3. Is that 3? Yeah. Volume 3. And let's open this up. So this is the packaging, and the packaging is absolutely stunning. I love the packaging. It's so beautiful. And the fact that you get so many eyeshadows in one palette with this big mirror. I really like that. Um, the only thing that I'm not crazy about are these colors. I mean, they're all like light, neutral, shimmery colors. And I mean, uh, I usually have like one or two of those in a palette and I'm good. You know, I have enough of that. So this is a lot of these shimmery colors that I probably won't use very often. I don't know. Other people might really like this palette, but I'm not a fan. So I'm not going to use it at all and I'm going to give it away. And uh, yeah, that's what I think. I don't really like it. I'm I'm down with the packaging. I like the packaging a lot. I think this is so pretty, but yeah, I'm not going to use this. So we will be giving that away. <sighs> yeah. So I think that's it. That's the five items. So we got the, the reparative leave-in conditioner, the Ofra liquid lipstick, the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea palette, the Tatcha dewy face mask, and the billion dollar brows. So yeah, I'm not crazy about this box. I still think it's a great deal for $21. I mean, alone just the liquid lipstick is twenty dollars so i mean that that's paying for that right now just the pack of face masks is twenty four dollars for two of these so you know it's such a great deal that even if you don't find things that you like you can always give them away or try out new things that maybe you didn't think that you would like that actually you end up really loving so i'm gonna add this up and see how much the total of the box is Okay guys, so I did a tally up of the total of the retail value of this box and it turns out to be $110, which is a little lower than usual. Uh, I mean, I don't want to be selfish here, but usually it's about like 140, 130, sometimes 160, so 110, that's on the lower side of BoxyCharm. But going through these, the conditioning sprite is $12 for this bottle right here. Not a bad price, actually. I mean stuff is really good so I do like that conditioner the uh, liquid lipstick is $20 I feel like that's a pretty typical price for a liquid lipstick the brow pencil is $18 also very typical of the price for the pencil the pack of face masks are 24 for two I think I've mentioned that already three times and the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea eyeshadow palette is $36 so totaling 110 and still a great price not a great box for me I'm not gonna use a few of the items but I'm sure someone else will like them so it's all good alright guys that is it happy new year I hope that you guys like this video if you haven't checked out BoxyCharm check it out I'll have a link in my description and I will see you in my next video bye bye, bye.